Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm now joined by another intern for WHHI, Christy Bollinger. I got it right, yes? yes? Right. Welcome. We're so Thank glad you're you. here. Happy to be here. So tell us what brought you here to WHHI. So this is actually my third summer on the island here. Okay. I'm from Katie's, Kentucky, popula population like 2,500, the smallest town ever. Um, and so my first summer I decided, apparently it's like a Western Kentucky thing, Western Kentucky University student thing to come down here and work for the summer. Steamer Seafood, which mm -hmm. just recently closed down. Right. The owner there was a um, WKU alum and then an SAE alum, and he hired a bunch of SAEs to come down here. And I'm an AOPI, I, I was an AOPI at Western, I just graduated. Um, a bunch of them started coming down, and so that's how I, it was kind of like a word of mouth thing. So I was like, well, let's try it out, you know, I mean, this is such a touristy spot. Right. And the food and beverage does really well here in the summer, especially. So we just come down here and we serve. My first summer, I served at Frosty Frog Cafe. My mm -hmm. second summer, I was at Steamer Seafood. And just graduating this past May, like a month ago, I thought, yeah, you probably shouldn't go back to the island. It's time to, you know, do something big girl related. Yeah, time to be a grown up. Here. Yeah, definitely. But I ended up deciding to come because I was like, well, let's just apply for some internships and see if we get them. I was like, I didn't think it was likely because, I mean, I'm not from around here. It's not like anyone in this new station really knew me, you know. And so I ended up getting it, which was so exciting. I was like, well, let's go back for another summer. So that's why I'm here. So here you are. So, well, congratulations on your graduation. Thank you. I appreciate that. What was your major? So I graduated with a bachelor's in broadcasting and criminology. How I want to relate the two. I want to... Um, I kind of become like an investigative reporter, okay. report on crime and stuff. Not that I find, I mean, we all find crime a little interesting, you know, it's just, it makes yeah. for, you know, I mean, not like good stories, but, but the good public stories. wants to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not uh, happy stories, no, but good happy stories. stories but definitely, interesting yeah, stories. Yeah, stories that so, reach a lot of people and yes, a lot of people do. are interested yes. in. And it's also a hard topic to report on, you know, not many people want to do that. And so I kind of feel like it's my duty you know, to inform the public. So maybe we're going like to see you one of these days as a uh, anchor or host for Dateline. What's Dateline? <gasps> What's Dateline? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, like so that, this. so now you have something that you have to look up when you okay, leave here. It's will. Dateline. It's on, I think it's on every Friday and it's a true crime stories oh, and really? it's like an hour, maybe, it's, sometimes it's a two hour show. So. I feel like I've seen every crime show in the world. Well, you got to look up Dateline. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, I will. Is that's it on Netflix be. or something maybe? Nope, it's on regular on TV. Cable? Yeah. See, that's my problem. I don't watch too much cable. I just stream a lot of like Netflix and Hulu. So this is talks about the generational thing because obviously I'm still I'm still <laughs> stuck in the old days and I'm not streaming and you are we're very current. So strictly streaming. <laughs> strictly streaming. So what um what do you do for WHHI? So a lot of my duties consist of writing a lot of content, articles. Um, a lot of the articles I'm going to be writing are going to be posted on the website, okay. you know, I've done a little stuff on Facebook. We're in charge, as interns, we're in charge of the Facebook, the Twitter. We just recently created an Instagram, which I feel like is going to be really cool. It's going to add a little, I guess, modern, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm trying to say, you know. Yeah. And then um, Google Plus, we share some stories and stuff from the island packet. We haven't really gotten too deep into the content creation just yet. I think we're trying to, you know, each day it's like a new thing we're learning, you know. So right. we have to learn about how to put stuff on the website and stuff. But we tweet, you know, we make um, some cute little graphics for whatever, like, you know, there's always a national day, you know, like mm -hmm. I think the other day was like National Donut Day. So we had fun creating those graphics. Um, we're going to go out into the field and we're going to, do a little reporting and stuff. Um, also, I'm in charge of the, I think it's the out and about, the Hilton Head News out and about. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I have to be, I guess, I have to know my current events, what's going around, what's going on around me. And so we submit like three events that this, yesterday I just talked about, like the sandbar opening. I talked about this reptiles and amphibians um, program that the Coastal At Discovery Coastal, uh -huh. Museum does. And then I talked a little bit about Mama Mia coming to, um, the Art Center, Coastal Carolina. Okay, so they can catch you every week doing out and about, right? Yes, yes, right. and that and that's will, on the Hilton Head News. Yes, okay, Mondays so, yep. at six, I think. Yep. Well, I know just Mondays at six, but I know it airs every other day too. But I'm not yep. sure of the times. Well, we are so glad to have you here. Thank, thank you for you. being with us, and thank you for sharing about yourself with thank us this you morning. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back on Talk of the Town.